In this video, we're gonna talk about the most powerful formula in finance and three lessons that we can take from it. The formula is called the rule of 72. Once you understand this concept for yourself, it will change the way you view investing forever. And it also is something that you can easily explain to someone else. All you need is a piece of paper, a pen, and some basic math skills. This video is for educational purposes only. It should not be considered investment, legal, or tax advice. It is not an offer to buy or sell any security. Past performance does not indicate future results. Investing is risky. The rule of 72 tells you how long it takes to double your money at different rates of return. So if I were to ask you, what do you think you can earn on your investments? Let's say you said, well, I think I can make 7% per year. The question is, how long is it going to take you to double your money at a 7% rate of return? To find out, you simply take 72 divided by 7%, which equals roughly 10. If you're able to increase your return to, say, 9%, that means now you're doubling your money once every eight years. 72 divided by nine is eight. So let's see how this works in practice. Let's assume that you make a 9% rate of return long-term on your investments, so your money doubles once every eight years. So let's say that you're an enterprising young man or woman, and you started investing early at the age of eight. You put $10,000 into the market or some other investment that earned you a 9% return, which according to the rule of 72 means your money will double every eight years. So we can just simply add eight a bunch of times. So you have 16, 24, 32, all the way to let's say age 88. So each one of these represents a double. So 10,000 doubles to 20, which doubles to 40, 160, 320, 640, 1.28 million, 2.56 million, over 5 million, and then at 88, this grows to $10,240,000. And all you needed to do for this to happen was two things. One, earn a 9% annual return, and two, start at age eight. The first lesson from the rule of 72 is to start early. And you may not be eight years old, but however old you are right now, one thing's for sure, and that is you're not getting younger. Don't let the regret of not starting at age eight prevent you from starting at age 48. Now, let's see what happens if we change the percentage that you're going to earn on your investments from 9%, which is the long-term growth rate of stocks, down to 3.6%, which is the current 10-year U.S. Treasury yield. This yield simply represents what you could earn in a vehicle that basically lends money to the U.S. government for a period of 10 years. You're guaranteed to get back 3.6% per year, 100% guaranteed. So if you take 72 divided by 3.6, we come up with 20. So at a 3.6% rate of return, it will take 20 years to double your money. So let's go back up and see how this compares to our 9%. So we're gonna start at the exact same age, only this time we're doubling every 20 years. So eight, 28, 48, 68, and 88. And we're still investing $10,000 to start. So 10 turns to 20, turns to 40, turns to 80, turns to 160. So the difference between a 9% return and a 3.6% return with the exact same starting investment and the same starting age was 160,000 and 10.24 million. The difference between 9% and 3.6% is night and day. So the rule of 72 tells us that if you want to build wealth, you need to earn higher rates of return. And the way you earn higher rates of return is by owning things, which is lesson number two. Own things like businesses, stocks, real estate, don't lend to other people. So lending to the U.S. government or lending to corporations in the form of bonds comes with higher quote-unquote safety, but the long-term compounding effect is substantially lower than earning higher rates of return. 
And the difference between 9% and 3.6% doesn't seem like all that much, but the compounded effect is massive. Over $10 million difference just by earning an extra roughly 5% annually. The third and possibly most important lesson from the rule of 72 is don't give up. A lot of people get on their investing journey and they look at other people that have, you know, 500,000 or a million or 10 million, and they look at their own portfolios and feel like they are small and they're not really making much progress on their investments. You know, even if they're getting some percentage return per year, it just doesn't seem to add up to much. But this graph, I think, will change your mind. And let's plot out the actual numbers for this eight-year-old's portfolio. He started at age eight and he invested $10,000, which is pretty small, right? So let's put that on this uh, chart here. And we're going to say for each notch here, it represents a million dollars. So eight to 16, his little $10,000 investment increased to 20,000. 24, it increased to 40,000, which is about there. 32 grew to 80, which is maybe here. 40, 160, which is still here. So if we just draw a line, it's just barely kind of budging, right? It just looks like a pretty flat line. But once he hits 48, you start to see a little bit of growth. So 320 at 56, 320 turned to 640. And then at 64, portfolio eclipses a million dollars. At 72, it reaches two and a half million. At 80, it's up to 5.1. And at 88, it is literally off our chart somewhere up here. So now if we plot it, you see this exponential growth in the portfolio. The total investment gains for this entire 32-year period from age 8 to 40 was only $150,000. So 32 years grew $150,000. But then the difference in just this 8-year period alone was $5.12 million. So if you're watching this channel, chances are you're probably somewhere in this realm. So you've maybe been consistently saving or maybe you just started saving and your portfolio values are still pretty small. You don't see a ton of progress, but the lesson from the rule of 72 is that compound returns are exponential. So continue to save, continue to plow money away year after year after year, and eventually you're gonna start to see the power of compounding really start to take hold. If you know someone that might benefit from this concept, you can share this video or better yet, go see them, take out a piece of paper and show them yourself. All you need to know is just a couple of calculations and you can very clearly show someone the power of the rule of 72 ultimately the power of compounding interest, which Einstein called the eighth wonder of the world. Thanks to everyone who is supporting this channel via Patreon and YouTube Premium. A reminder to those of you who have purchased my valuation course, I did post the dividend discount model example, and I will be adding more content to that here in the next couple of weeks. So I'll send you an email whenever that's available. If you're interested in signing up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks to everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next video.